We're asked to write the fractions in lowest terms. The directions may also say simplify. A fraction is written in lowest terms or simplified when the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is 1. And we'll show how to write these fractions in lowest terms or how to simplify them using prime factors as well as division. So beginning with 3 ninths using prime factors, we determine the prime factorization of the numerator and denominator. And 3 is prime, so we leave 3 as it is. And the prime factorization of 9 is 3 times 3. So the nice thing about the prime factorization method is that we always see the common factors that will simplify out. Notice how we have a common factor of three in the numerator and denominator. And because three divided by three or three thirds simplifies to one, these threes simplify to one. Now notice how we have a factor of one in the numerator and the denominator is now one times three, which equals three. So three ninths in lowest terms is equal to one-third. Notice the only common factor between one and three is one. And now to write three ninths in lowest terms using division, we need to be able to look at three and nine and recognize they share a common factor of three. So to create an equivalent fraction in lowest terms, we divide the numerator and denominator by three. Notice that three divided by three is equal to one, and nine divided by three is equal to three. The division method can be a little bit quicker, but we do have to be able to determine the greatest common factor between the numerator and denominator. Let's look at our next example. We want to write 24, 36 in lowest terms. So we'll first use the prime factorization method. So we'll determine the prime factorization of 24 and 36. For 24, let's begin with three times eight, where three is prime. Eight is equal to four times two, two is prime and four is equal to two times two, both are prime. So now we know the prime factorization of 24 is two times two times two times three. And now we'll determine the prime factorization of 36. 36 equals six times six. Six is equal to two times three. Both two and three are prime. So the prime factorization of 36 is two times two times three times three. And it is helpful to write the prime factors in order from least to greatest. And now we can see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. There's a common factor of two twice, as well as a common factor of three. So two halves, or two divided by two is equal to one. So this simplifies to one over one, as well as here, as well as here. So these factors aren't disappearing, they're simplifying to ones. So now the numerator would be two, and the denominator would be three. So 24, 36 in lowest terms equals two thirds. And now I'll show this again using division. Using division, if we don't recognize right away that the greatest common factor between 24 and 36 is 12, this will take more than one step. For example, let's say we only recognize there's a common factor of two, so we begin by dividing the numerator and denominator by two. Well, 24 divided by two is equal to 12. 36 divided by two is equal to 18. And now from here, let's say we do recognize there's a common factor of six between 12 and 18. So now we divide again. We divide the numerator by six and the denominator by six. And now we do get the fraction in lowest terms because 12 divided by six equals two and 18 divided by six equals three. So we do get the same result, but as the numerator and denominator get larger and larger, it often is gonna take more than one step to find the fraction in lowest terms when using division. I hope you found this helpful.